Hello! In this video, I would like to show you an interactive way to show sales breakdown. Pie charts and donut charts are often used to visualize shares and percentages, but they can become very overcrowded when there are many categories. Also, to show additional hierarchies, extra layers need to be added manually. By using a sunburst chart and making it interactive with a pivot table, I can choose which categories should be broken down. The table in my example has sales of chocolate types, which are broken down by country and brand. For example, if I just want to show the breakdown of milk chocolate, I can group white chocolate and dark chocolate, and only the breakdown of milk chocolate will remain. If I group all three, then a large donut will remain. And this is the breakdown for white chocolate. Let's see how this is done. The sales in my table are broken down by chocolate type, country, and brand. In order to show these categories as hierarchies on different levels, I will use the sunburst chart. So let's select the categories and the values. To select a non-adjacent column, you have to press down the control key while selecting. And under all charts, I will select the sunburst chart. I will format the data labels to show value in addition to category name with new line as separator. The innermost circle shows the categories from the first column. This chart is very overcrowded, and I don't want all chocolate types to be shown at once, just a specific one. So I'm going for the effect as if milk chocolate and dark chocolate, their sales were not broken down by country and brand, and just the sales of white chocolate were broken down further. The issue here, though, is that milk does not display the correct percentage of the total, because the rows are not summed up. So I need the table to sum up the rows for milk. This can be achieved using a pivot table. So let's bring back the categories that I deleted. And add a pivot table. In the pivot table fields, I will drag chocolate type, country, and brand into the rows, and sales thousands as the values. I would like the sales to be displayed as percentage of total, so under value field settings, I will choose to summarize them by sum and show values as percent of grand total. Under number format, I will specify to have no decimal places. I will also change the layout of the table and show in tabular form. Take out the subtotals and the grand total. So now our pivot table is done. The sunburst chart cannot be used with data from a pivot table. If I try adding it, I will get the message that I need to select a different chart type. So in order to use the sunburst chart, I need to construct an additional table. In the cells of this table, I will write the formula. If A3 is not nothing, then it should be shown. Otherwise, Nothing. I need to specify nothing, because if zeros appear in the table, they will also appear in the sunburst chart. Let's 
Let's press Ctrl and T to change it to a table. I also would like to format these values as percent style. And now I can add the sunburst chart. Let's format the data labels. I would like them to show category name and value with new line of separator. And let's change the color to black. As a chart title, I will write sales breakdown. And now, if I group white, then milk and dark chocolate sales appear as breakdown according to country and brand. And if I group also milk, then I only see dark. And if I group all of them, then I see one large donut. If I ungroup milk, again I see its breakdown of sales. I can also change the position of country and brand. Under show field list, I can put the brand before the country. And now, milk is first broken down into brands, and then countries. Let's change the colors of the segments to colors which are more appropriate for chocolate. So I would like the white chocolate to be light yellow, dark chocolate to be dark brown, and milk chocolate to be light brown. Let's also remove the grid lines. And increase the size of the font of the chart title. And that's it. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe for more practical spreadsheet solutions.